By now, most of us can recognize the COVID-19 virus with its spike proteins on the outside, helping it to grab on to host cells. Coronaviruses have an extraordinarily large single strand of RNA with about 30,000 bases. Ravi Gupta is a professor of clinical microbiology involved with numerous COVID-19 studies. Most mutations come and go. The virus doesn't really benefit from them. Where the virus will benefit from a mutation is when you have an infection that goes on for days and weeks and months because that virus is then combating the immune system on a daily basis. If that person infects another, the mutation is passed on. If the variant is detected in more and more cases, it's reported to the World Health Organization. Some changes are expected. Coronaviruses on average have two mutations per genome per month. The variant that was originally detected here in the UK has 23, some in areas that are said to affect how the virus behaves. This one is believed to be more transmissible. It's one of the reasons it's been labeled a variant of concern. Emma Hodcroft is a molecular epidemiologist. She's one of the many experts deciphering viral lineages from around the globe. In South Africa, we have slightly less data. We do still also see that there are lots of mutations, but they're happening in slightly different areas of the virus. The more the virus circulates, the greater potential it has to change. Infectious diseases physician and virologist Samira Mubaraka says it all comes down to vaccines. When we get vaccinated, we don't make just one antibody. We make a whole repertoire of antibodies, what we call a polyclonal response. And that response is against a whole bunch of areas across the genome, not just this one particular site. Even if there is some impaired uh, effectiveness or efficacy, it's not going to be absolute. As more labs in Canada and around the globe increase viral sequencing and share data, the more we'll all know about the strain circulating and countermeasures needed. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.